go high level wizard here and now i'm going to be doing a full tutorial on pipelines and opportunities within go high level this way you can have an entire built out sales process from a to z and automate the entire thing before we jump in though go right down below smash that subscribe button if you have any questions at all drop a comment down below let's jump right in so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come into your sub account and you're gonna come right down to opportunities and you'll be brought to a page like this so the first thing i want to do is break down what opportunities are what pipelines are and what stages are so you understand how this whole thing works so the first thing we start with at the very top is pipelines and pipelines are just a way to track your deals as they move through different stages it is the pipeline that has all of your leads slash prospects in it we then have stages so each pipeline has multiple stages and stages are steps that show where a deal is in your sales process so new lead warm lead hot lead whatever they are in your pipeline this is where the stages come into play and again pipelines have multiple stages these are the stages okay you have new lead book call they'll pop up like this on the dashboard then last but not least we have opportunities which are also leads, prospects, whatever you want to call it. So opportunities are potential customers you're trying to convert into sales. And every stage has multiple opportunities. So the way this works, the hierarchy is it starts with pipelines. Each pipeline has multiple stages. Then each stage has multiple opportunities. So you have your overarching pipeline with your stages and each one of these stages has the leads, the people you're trying to close and they get moved from step to step. So that way you can have a sales process that makes sense. So for example, you would come in into a pipeline. If you just have one stage where it's just leads, it doesn't move. You can't track, you can't tell. But with multiple stages, and this is where automation is coming handy, you would have a hot lead, you know, booked call closed. That way you could see all of the leads you have this one. Then you know, okay, I can set up a follow-up. So all these hot leads get followed up get them booked on appointments and then sold and again every stage has multiple opportunities and again opportunities are just another name for leads and this is what the leads look like or the opportunities are these little guys right here and they're filled with all the detail and, and info on each lead and you can just move them just like this but that's basically the way it works overall and that's kind of how the entire opportunity slash pipelines hierarchy works so now that you understand that now it's time to walk through and create your pipeline so we can create your stages and then fill it with opportunity so we're going to come right into pipelines so the first thing we're going to do is click this right here create new pipeline and then we're going to put in the name. So this name will be sales pipeline or whatever, you know, you want to have. So now that you've created that, we now need to create the stages. So remember what I said earlier, each pipeline has multiple stages and this is warm lead, hot lead, cold lead. So what we're going to do is new lead plus stage. And by the way, this is just adding, if you want to see the pie chart, the funnel, and then this is to delete it. So these are just basic stuff you want to have, but you already have this right here and you can toggle these off or on, but I would just leave them on. So we're going to have new lead. We're then going to have booked app. This is booked appointment. Then we're going to have, let's do lead after they've done the, you know, the appointment, maybe they haven't gone all the way through. And then we're going to do sold. And then we're going to do upsell. Okay. That's what we do. And again, you're going to put what you have for your sales process in here. I don't know what your sales process looks like. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below and I will answer it. But for this, I'm just putting in a make shift stage. So you just put your exact sales process in here. And once you have all these stages designated, you'll then just click save. And then if we refresh the page right up here, okay, we can now see it right here. So what you can always do with these is you can click this to edit it again, to add stages or anything else or the trash can to delete it. But now we're going to go over to opportunities and I'm going to show you how to toggle in and out. So right here, if you click this drop down, you'll see all of your pipeline. So we're going to click our sales pipeline and now you'll see it. So remember the, the stages we created, they pop up like this. So you just just pick what pipeline you want. And then when you have your pipeline picked, we then have a couple options up. So the first thing is toggling the view. So do you want it to be like this where it's spread out with the, with the four, or do you want it to be a list, which I'll show you what this looks like. If we go right here, this just has them all booked out like that. So what we can do is we can pick, you know, either one on your preference, but then if you have a bunch of leads from another software, another pipeline, you can then just add them in just like this, your contacts and opportunities. And you just follow these four steps, start, 
upload map verify. Once you go through this all right, you would click next. And then all you'd have to do is upload them. And then you'll have all of your leads, pipelines from wherever else you have them in here. And again, that would be under bulk actions. Once we have that, then we can then come in and then we go right over here just to see us. We can export this pipeline if we're moving to another software or to another pipeline, or we can restore the opportunities if you've deleted. Then down here, you can put any sort of advanced filters just to target, you know, per person or whatever you're going for. You can sort by, you know, date created on, last stage. This is just basic filters. And if you understand high level, you already understand how these filters work. So it's just like that. And then you come right over here and you can search for any, you know, leads, opportunities, whatever you want right there. And then managing fields is just managing if you want custom fields or anything like that, or the card layout, which we're going to get to in a second, which is this down here, which is just, you know, picking what you want to have in there. But now that you understand the basic layout of how the opportunities tab works and kind of what's going on, we're now going to add some opportunities. So we're going to come right into add opportunity and you're going to have two different ways you can do this. So the first way is just adding in a contact. By the way, these are all fake contacts. None of this is real. We'll come right in here and you can add a contact. So we'll do Desmond Denethors. We'll click that and we'll just click create. Okay. And immediately what it's going to do is it's just going to add in, okay, Desmond Denethor to the exact lead. And that way you can just come in and go, okay, I want all of these people. And that's where the import thing comes where you can just take a bunch of people and contacts and dump them in, or you can manually do it. So that would be picking primary email. So we'll do, let's pick one right here. We'll do Amanda Reynolds. So we'll just say we already clicked it. So we put an email, you put in the phone, whatever you want there. You put in the opportunity name. Okay. You pick the pipeline, which one? So we're doing the sales pipeline. You pick what stage, new lead, booked appointment, hot lead. Remember the stages we create, you assign it to that stage. Do you want the status open, lost, one abandoned? By the way, these are the statuses, which is basically open is ready to go. Lost is like it's done one that's sold and then abandons like they're terrible. That's an easier way to put it. Opportunity value. This is how much said lead is worth. You put this in high level doesn't put this in. So you designate, you want it to be worth $9. Is it, you know, hundred dollars? You would designate the lead worth. And again, when you bulk upload, you can put these in so you understand, but this is important. So you can see how much money is in your sales pipeline. And then from there, you you can put in the owner, which is just adding someone to it. Same thing with followers. You can put a business name and an opportunity source. So simple stuff like that. But more importantly is the tags because the tags are what's going to enable your sales process to be fully automated. So again, depending on what tags you have, you want to add these. So if it's a hot lead, whatever, you would add that because later in the video, I'm going to show you how to automate this entire thing. So that's how you would do it manually. You just fill out all this info and then you click create. And then from there, you basically get all of it right in here. So the whole goal with this, I'm and explain this in the automations part is to have this completely automated because if you don't have it automated you'll literally be going like this moving stuff from pipeline pipe but checking as they close they want what tags they have you can automate this entire thing so all you have to do is dump leads into the system and this will categorize it'll hit them with messages chatbots will attack them it'll be incredible but in order for that to happen you have to automate and first set up so in order for that to happen we first have to have this properly set up. So we're just going to add one more lead, one more opportunity to this, and then we're going to kind of do some testing. So we'll do Chanel Waters. We're going to click create. Okay. And we'll wait till she pops up. So to make sure you have this all properly set up, you need to understand how all this works. So in each lead, you have all this info and you can add stuff manually. So the first thing right here is view in conversation. So if we click this, all it's going to do is take us to the conversations tab where you have all their info, just like in here, where you'll see the conversation you've had going back and forth with said lead. Then we have add tags. You can manually add tags. By the way, I'm just showing you how to do all this manually. We can automate this later. This is a way to quickly manually add said tag. And you would take the tag you want, and then you click update and it will then add the tag. So if we come right over here, okay, we'll now see that this has a tag added right there. Google review given. So it now has the one. Then over here, we have add notes. And by the way, it's all right here. I'm just showing you on the card way. Adding a note is like, she is amazing lead. Whatever you want to say, just a note on the person or they weren't ready to buy, whatever it is. And again, this is going to be important for AI chatbots in the future, but that's where you would just add a note. So you click save. Okay. And as you see here, it'll be popping up little numbers designating what's on it. And then right here, you can add a task. Do you want this person to be building a website? Do you want this person to be buying this? It's basically you're assigning a task to the user. I've gone over this in other videos. But you would just plug in exactly what the title, the description, who it's assigned to, and when it is due. And then you would click add task, and that would also pop up. Then last but not least, we have add an appointment. This is just a manual way to select exactly what calendar you want, picking the time slot, and then adding them to appointment. You don't need to do this all like this, though. This is just a manual way if there's a bug in the system to go in and, and, and play with it. So that's what all of these do. 
That way you can see and understand exactly what is going on. And then right up here in manage fields, you can manage the way these layouts so what they have here. You know what I'm saying? The conversations tab, the call, all this stuff through this by selecting exactly how you want this whole thing to be laid out, which is, is really great if you're trying to kind of tweak stuff and, and make your user interface look different. Or if your sales process is different, you would just add it like that. But that's just a little extra customization added on. So now that you understand the basics of this, so how to build a pipeline, how to put in the stages, how to put in your leads, you know, opportunities, all this stuff. By the way, if you have any questions, drop a comment down below. Again, I answer very fast. Now that you understand this entire process and you can build a pipeline, you're going to want to automate it because this is how you'll make a ton of money and get all of your time back, especially in the age of AI. So a big problem I see with so many people is they'll build these intricate pipelines, but they'll literally be like this. Okay, my lead, look at this. Like, oh, he just moved to hot lead and they're manually moving this stuff. And it's like, what are you doing? Because you could just have all of your lead flow, whether that's a contact form, whether that's a Facebook lead form, whatever it is, how your leads come into your business, you can just dump it into a pipeline and automate this entire thing. So each one moves automatically and it assigns tags and assigns this and it adds SMS follow-ups and AI chatbots kick in. And if you can automate a sales process, not only for your business, will you save a ton of time and make way more money. If you're an agency, you will be able to absolutely enhance any business's sales process, which means they will pay you way more money. So like pay attention. So what we're going to do is we're going to come right down automations and I'm not going to go super in depth on every little intricate part because I have other videos on automations and I, I really recommend you watch those, but I'm just going to show you the basics of kind of how to navigate this. Cause there's so many different options depending on your business, but you're going to do start from scratch. The first thing as always name your automations. We'll just do sales pipeline. Now, just to let you know, you can get away with one automation for your entire pipeline. Now I know a lot of people have like 26 automations for their entire pipeline, which if your pipeline is very intricate and very complicated, then yes, by all means do that. But if you have a relatively simple sales process, one pipeline plus AI, you're pretty much taken care of. So the first thing you're going to need to do is have a way for all of these leads to get into the pipeline. So that could be form, you know, submitted. That could be Facebook lead form submitted. It could be TikTok form, you know, whatever it is. It could be website, which I don't know because I don't know what your business is, but you're going to have to have a way for these leads to be put right into the pipeline. So that's always the first part. And just understand again, drop comments if you're confused. You're going to have to have a way for these leads to immediately get pumped into said pipeline. Because what you don't want to happen is you're constantly manually adding these. As soon as the lead comes into your business, you want that lead to immediately be put into the pipeline if you have a, a big sales process. The first thing is just defining what that is. So we'll just do form submitted. Again, you pick whatever you want. Pick exact form what it is. I, again, I don't know what your sales process is, so I'm kind of doing this very vaguely. But then from there, it's going to cascade. And I'm going to show you a couple different options just so you understand this. And I have full videos on automations, by the way. So please check those out if you're confused on all this or drop a comment because this does get pretty intricate. But I'm just going to show you a couple things you need to know so you can immediately start putting stuff in here, okay, and having this pipeline automated. So then after that, a really important thing that you're going to have to add many different times is this right here, which is the create update opportunity. Now, again, we're going to have this sending them SMS and send the email. I have other videos on that. So please watch those if you're trying to learn like that side of things. Right now, I'm just showing you that you're going to need to understand the create update opportunity, because when you do, that's what's going to manually go ching and send them, you know, the book a call, book this, it'll get them off of sold. It'll put them in upsell. It'll do that all automatically. And a lot of people don't even know this, but this is what you're going to need. So you're going to create update opportunity. You're going to pick the exact pipeline you want this in. So we'll do sales pipeline, the exact stage. So we'll do new lead. Okay. Opportunity name. I always just do custom. I'll do contact full name. You can do phone number two. You just want basis stuff. So it understands it. And then an opportunity, we'll do contact source. So we'll do contact, we'll do source, contact source, lead value, put in whatever you want for that. Again, I don't know your business. And then you come right down here. This is my pre-built automation I have here. And again, you can add fields like lead score and all this other stuff. But then right here, you might want to add this, which is allow opportunity to move to any previous stage in the pipeline. So this is important if, you know, someone doesn't book a card, like I'm not really interested or whatever, it then goes back to being a hot lead, not sold. Or however you do that, you know, again, your sales process is different than everyone else's. So you have to figure that out. But what I'm just showing you here is this is like a rough way to do it for mass. And then allow duplicate opportunities, which is just allowing multiple of the same opportunity in your pipeline, which you can allow or not. But then we would save action. Now, Here's the thing. 
it's impossible for me to just build a generic one for everyone's sales business. So I'm just giving you the idea. I have full videos on this on my channel, so check them out. But the concept is understanding first, you have to have the leads coming in and then just understanding how to update and, and change the opportunity. And even coming in here and doing remove opportunity is going to be very important because you can do all opportunities in the select pipeline or opportunity that triggered this workflow. Because if you come in here and you have someone that didn't get sold and they said, I do not want to buy, like I hate you, you then want to remove them. Again, the whole point of this is having an automated sales process where all you do is dump leads into the pipeline. And I know this is more vague, but I'm trying to just show you that these things and automations, again, full videos on my channel to explain this all, these things are what you're going to be using the bulk of in order to get these things to move automatically. And from there, it's just adding update opportunity, remove opportunity, send SMS, add the chat bot, you know, whatever it is down this line, just continually selecting more and more. That way, this this whole process from each stage gets automated because what's really important is understanding how stages work. That's why I recommend you watch this video again if you don't understand the stages because the stages are how the automations are really going to work smoothly. The pipeline and the opportunity are just down here. The stages are what make everything kind of come together. So that is extremely important to understand. So with this, just understand that whatever your sales process is, the first thing is you have to have those leads dumped into the pipeline. So you pick that and make them go into the pipeline. Then from there, it's just sending SMS, creating and updating opportunities, and then removing opportunities. That way, all you have to do is start dumping leads in, and then this entire process will work on its own. And then if you have an automated system or you have salespeople, they'll know exactly what to do. They won't have to come in here manually doing this and that and, and, and tricking around. It'll do all of it, which saves a lot of time. You sell more leads and everyone makes more money and everyone's happy. Again, when your clients are happy, you make more money. So just keep that top of mind. So that's in a nutshell. Again, this video was a little more complicated and this automations part gets sticky because there's just so many different options. Please drop a comment down below or hit me up on Facebook or WhatsApp for free. I'll answer your questions on this. That way I'll clear up any kind of confusion. Another note, if you're confused at all on automations or any of this stuff, just go to my channel. All my videos go over everything. It's completely free. Go check that out too, because that's going to show you how to learn all the little stuff, like how to do automations, how to do, you know, pipelines, how to do calendars. So this whole system works together. So please go check that out. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your viewership. And as always, go high level wizard.